In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can defend the Trips tight end with a ton of success in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos that can help you get better on both the offensive and the defensive side of the ball in Madden 21. Now, in this video, we are talking specifically about my nickel 335 wide defense. And if you have not already got the nickel 335 wide defensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. But in this video, we're going to be actually covering um, a little bit of a different style of way that you can approach defending the trips tight end. It's actually a match defense. It's something new that I've been working on um, over the course of the last couple of weeks. And I think this has actually got a lot of value for you. And so I'm really excited to dive into this. Now, again, if you want to learn the entire defense, not just this one coverage, I would encourage you to check out the nickel 335 wide defensive guide. It is available in the description of this video. But the play that we're going to be talking about is the cover four show two out of the nickel 335 wide. But we're going to make some interesting little adjustments that I think you're going to find uh, fascinating. So we're going to come out in the cover four drop and we want to just kind of wiggle our, our user a little bit so that he doesn't move whenever we audible down as you see right here and then we're just going to shift our defensive line to the right and this is going to be kind of our base kind of our base front if you will now the net the, the next couple of adjustments actually are super super important and so if you actually think about the types of routes that you're going to run into especially from trips tight end you have to actually think that Cover six and cover nine is actually a very interesting way to play it. And so what I'm going to recommend that you do actually is I am going to tell you to do these following little adjustments. First and foremost, we're going to put our defensive end on the running back side into a bluff blitz. As you can see here, it's going to drop him into a three red hook zone just like this. And then we know the power of like the crossing routes and things like that. And so we have to be mindful of that and we have to understand that. And so I'm gonna simply leave this cover four shell over here on the right side. But on the left side, we're gonna do something a little bit unique. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play essentially cover uh, two or cover six, uh, if you will. So we're gonna put a soft squat out there on the left side, just like this right here. We're going to put our L1 safety or our far left side safety into a deep half, just like this. And then the last little step that we're going to take is we're going to man up that circle receiver as he is normally the problem in pretty much anything that people are going to do from the trips tied in. And so the defense is going to basically look like this right here once we're done adjusting. We've run cover four to the short side of the field. And we're running cover two, uh, Mabel, basically, to the wide side of the field. This is a match defense. And I want you to watch how this works against one of the best passing concepts in the entire game. You see that we've basically taken everything away from the very popular play curl flat. Now, I want to talk about another uh, type of route combination that you're going to see. If you play against trip tight end at all, you are going to see um, some version of this. And basically, it is a motion over uh, type of route combination. And so, again, we want to just kind of wiggle this guy. We're going to go down into our coverage. And as you'll see right here, we're going to simply adjust our coverage just like this right here. And this is really what it's going to look like. Now, Whenever they motion, which is very common from trips tight end types of players, whenever they motion, the first thing that we want to do is we always want to just simply change the guy that's banned up to the guy that's in motion. So as you see here, we've just changed that. And what you're going to see is this little cross man technique is going to do pretty daggone good. If they try to hit us up the seam, you know, we're going to have pretty good defense there. And really the primary component and route that we have to watch out for is it will show you this in instant replay. But if you take a look at this, you're going to see that we're playing very interesting little defense here. You notice that this cover four match defense really takes away the, the motion slant route. And really the primary person that we need to watch out for is this crossing route. You'll take a look here at the running back. You do see that the option route was a little bit available uh, to my opponent. But if you look across this, we, fa we favor ourselves. We play pretty solid defense. 
Now, again, um, the biggest thing that we got to watch out for is a crossing route, but this is going to do a really good job against popular concepts, um, specifically any kind of corner route. And what I like about that from a defensive perspective is this forces everything to work back into your user. You see right here that if they try to throw a cr little corner route on the right there, we're going to be in a pretty good position to be able to stop that. The same is true if they run a corner route to the left side. So you'll see here, I'm going to set up one of my famous route combinations out of trips tied in, but it's basically essentially a flood to the, to the wide side of the field. And if you watch here, you're going to notice that this corner route is really well covered. As you can see, the cover two soft squat does a really nice job against that corner route. We're able to get a stop. This is what I'm talking about when I talk about a more complete, cohesive coverage. Whenever you're defending somebody, you have to really wrestle with, what is my base defense going to do? What do I need it to do? What do I need to take it away? Well, as you can see here, you know, this is a really nice little coverage. We're able to take away the fade. We're able to take away the corner route. We're able to take away the traditional flood to the wide side of the field. Now you might be saying, well, it's all you know great and well, but how does this do um, if somebody wants to run you know something like this little Pat's Y N play? Um, and I'll show you. So basically, uh, Pat's Y N. So what do they do if we have like a skinny post situation? Again, this is part of the beauty of this being a cover two to one side and a cover four to the other side. And what you'll see is that this cover four defense, specifically because it's a match style defense, you see that he's going to drop right over the middle of the field and is able to take that away. So this defense is a very complete little system that you can use against the trips tight end. Now, if you want to learn my exact defense that I personally would recommend you run, not just against trips tight end, but against every single offense in Madden 21, all of the adjustments, all of the pressures, all of the glitches, all of the user rushes, you can learn that in the defensive guide that I'm going to leave in the description. You can get my entire defensive guide for just $15 down below. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to get the guide, it is going to be in the description for you.